we've strung a couple of good games together here. Uh, first of all, against Tallahassee, uh, Sidney McDonald was unconscious. He had 37, I believe. Uh, he had eight threes. Um, but more importantly, she was playing the other side of the basketball. Defensively, she was really, really good, and she has been for quite some time now. I think her focus level on that side of the ball has really helped us. Uh, she's also multifaceted, go get rebounds too. Uh, from a wing player, that's very important for us because we're not the biggest. Uh, so our guards have to rebound the basketball, and she does do that. We had a really good game last night against Northwest. Got a win on the road, won by 17. That's always a positive. Um, you know, I thought that, again, you know, we had contributions from everyone on the team. We had uh, five girls in double figures. Uh, we out-rebounded them, which is a little bit unusual because they're a very, very good offensive and defensive rebounding team. So I like that part of it. Uh, that was encouraging to us uh, going into this weekend against Pensacola. It'll be, um, it'll be important that we have to make sure that we're guarding the basketball, keeping it out of the lane because they are very guard-oriented. Uh, so they're going to attack the rim constantly, uh, push it in transition, and try to trap us in the backcourt, get some turnovers, and score off the defense. Uh, but I, I think that you know our sophomores are, are maturing and getting better, and uh, really showed me against Tallahassee uh, that they, they were mature because Tallahassee is the same type of team. They want to trap you and press you. And we only had nine turnovers, uh, which we turned them over 18 times. So we kind of flipped the coin on them. But that's a credit to these kids and their focus and their maturity coming into this, this weekend. This week's player spotlight, Sydney McDonald from Flint, Michigan. First got interested in basketball in the fourth grade when my mother and my uncle put me in a little league with my cousin to get me like involved in sports to stay out of trouble. I ended up loving it after I played with my cousin. My cousin quit on me, but I always like stayed into it, got in the gym with my uncle, and kept going forward with it. I kept playing in junior high and high school. I loved the game. That's how I ended up here. When I step out on the court, I feel a lot of pressure. I have a big chip on my shoulder because everybody's targeting Chipola. But when I get into it with my team, we like get on fire, we're into it, defense is great. Offense is better when the defense is good. I love my team and I love my coaches too. And I can't wait to finish out the seasons. Hopefully we make it to state and national tournament. <laughs>